Hello, everyone. This is Steve Suffolato from Erie Community College near Buffalo, New York. I'd like to spend the next few minutes with you talking about the basics of paper specifications. Uh, my intended audience here is for beginners or novice people, so my scope is going to be very basic and introductory. The three topics I want to discuss are types of papers, the different sizes of papers, and the weights of papers. When it comes to paper types, there's basically just three. Bond, which is often called writing, office, or copier paper, is almost always uncoated, so we call it plain, and the basis size is 17 by 22 inches. The next type of paper would be called book, and you can abbreviate that BK. It's also called text. You can abbreviate that TX, or it's called offset, which is uncoated paper. But book and text can also be coated and have various finishes from gloss to semi-gloss to satin to matte to dull. And the coating can be on one side called C1S or it can be a coated on two sides called C2S. And the basis size for a book or text is 25 by 38. And finally, there's cover, which can be abbreviated CV. And most people would call this a card stock because it's used for business cards and postcards and greeting cards. And the basic size here is 20 by 26. And in a more advanced conversation, we'd also have to talk about index, Bristol, and tag papers. There's four ways of specifying paper sizes. There's the common familiar US system. Then we have ANSI, American National Standards Institute. Then there's architectural, and then finally there's ISO or ISO, which is the International Standards Organization. Let's take a brief look at all four of these. In the US, the three most common paper sizes are letter, which is eight and a half by 11 inches. Then there's legal, which is eight and a half by 14 inches. And then there's ledger, which is 11 by 17 inches. Now, if the orientation is vertical, ledger then becomes called tabloid, it's in portrait orientation. With 11 by 17, you can fit two letter eight and a half by 11s up, out, or on, which means in a flat sheet form, if you fold this once in half, you make a four page folded signature. Another way to specify paper size is with, is with ANSI, American National Standards Institute, and they use a letter system, A through E, so ANSI size A would be eight and a half by 11, which is a letter size. Another way to specify paper size is with architectural and the prefix is called ARC. So you hear ARC A, B, C, D, and E. Uh, ARC A would be nine inches by 12 inches. Now notice that both in ANSI and architectural, what they're doing is they're doubling the width and carrying the length. The fourth way you can specify paper size is with ISO, ISO, International Standards Organization, and the actual spec here is called ISO 216. Now, ISO uses metric millimeters or centimeters, not inches, and it always has the same fixed constant aspect ratio, which is one to the square root of two, which is one to 1.41. And as you know, the aspect ratio is the width divided by the length. The reason why this is important is because when you want to scale something either larger or smaller, uh, it'll always fit on the next size up or fit on the next size smaller. There's two series in ISO sizes. You have the A series and you have the B series. The B series is larger, the A series is smaller. And in the ISO system, you have a uh, suffix, which is a number followed by a letter. And every time you increase that suffix number, you either increase the size of the paper doubling it or you decrease the size of the paper by halving it in terms of the area. This table here should help us understand the relationship between ANSI and ISO. The first column to the left here shows you the ANSI size. For example, ANSI A is a eight and a half by 11 letter. Uh, and the ISO, an A4 is 8.3 by 11.7. So you can see they're not exactly the same size, but they're similar. They're close. They're, they're an approximation. 
And in the third column to the right here, you can see the percentage of the ACE zero size uh, and also stated as a fraction. So A0 is 33.1 by 46.8 inches. In the ANSI E series, that would be 34 by 44 inches. And for ISO, A0 is 100% of the area. Finally, the last topic we want to discuss is paper weight. Uh, normally, there's a correlation between the weight of the paper and its thickness. As the paper gets heavier, it also gets thicker. Vice versa, as the paper gets thicker, it also gets heavier. That's within the same category. So we have two ways of specifying paper weight. We can use the American system, which is basis, basis weight, which is in pounds, or we can use the metric system called grammage, which is ISO 536. Let's compare the weight systems here. Uh, basis weight is always the weight in pounds of always 500 sheets, which is called a ream, always in inches, but the problem here is it varies in terms of the size because different types of papers have different basis sizes. So it gets a little confusing. In the grammage system, the weight is always in grams, not pounds. We're only talking about a single one sheet, not 500 a ream, and the size is always gonna be in millimeters or centimeters, not inches and A0 is the base size. Because in a basis weight system, uh, the weight is dependent on the type of paper, therefore the basis size, we'd like to have equivalent weights. So in that first column to the left, you can see we have three types of bond paper, 20 pound, 24 pound, and 28 pound. That next column titled book is the equivalent book weight so a 20 pound bond is like a 50 pound book, a 24 pound bond is like a 60 pound book, and a 28 pound is like a 70 pound book. And then we show you the GSM or grammage, 20 pound is 75 GSM, 24 pound is 90 GSM, and 28 pound is 105 GSM. And then finally, we give you the approximate thickness caliper in mils or points, so 20, pound bond is about four thousandths, four mil or four points, and 28 pound bond is about six thousandths of an inch, six mils or six points. Well, thank you for taking your time to listen to this presentation. I hope you found it informative. If you are watching uh, this as a YouTube video, please like it with thumbs up. Bye now.